of uh, interesting conundrums in the three quarters, I guess. Uh, talk us through Johnny McNichol making his debut and George North in the centre. Yeah, I think um, Johnny Mac's a, a player we know a lot about. Um, certainly have worked with him for a number of years now. Uh, he's had a good run with us in the Barbarians uh, and has trained well during the week. And uh, so he's got the start on the right wing. Um, George at centre, he's played a couple of games for the Ospreys there, which was great for us. He's obviously played four starts, I think, for, for Wales before in the centre, so it's not foreign to him. And I've got to say, George has trained very, very well, and um, he's taken the, the challenge up and is very much looking forward to a fresh start, if you like, uh, this weekend. Interesting competition at uh, Scrum Half. I guess it could have been a three-way comp if uh, Gareth Davis had been fit, but uh, what about uh, Reese Webb's challenge to Thomas Williams? You certainly, um, they've both trained very, very well. Uh, Thomas, we want to see uh, start. Um, he's had more games probably off the bench than he has start. And obviously it's a good test for him, um, following up his start against the Barbarians, where he played very well for us. Uh, Reese has come back, he's, he's trained well. Uh, you can see the experience that he brings. So he'll get some game time at some stage during the game and we'll see how those legs go um, after being out for a wee while. Until Lupe Falata, another man... Uh not seen in a Wales shirt for, for some time. How much of an impact are you hoping that he'll make in the pack? Yeah, well, hopefully he'll uh, he'll start for us the way he did with Bath. So he'd been out for a while there and came back very, very strongly. So, uh, look, he's again, he's a number one, uh, another person that brings a lot of experience uh, to the team. And um, it's been great having him around training. So, uh, look, hopefully uh, he'll have a good start. When Nick Tonkins is in uh, a very chaotic situation at the club level with the Saracens, is that having an effect on him at all, being in the squad, and do you see him trying to come into Welsh rugby sooner rather than later? Uh, certainly not having an impact on him, from what I can see. He's, um, I've had a, a couple of good conversations with Nick. He's, he's an intelligent young footballer with a, a very big future, I think. He's, um, he's trained very, very well. He's settled in uh, straight away. He's, uh, and he's come from a background with Saracens where, you know, coming into this test squad, he, he's been around a lot of international level players, so it's it's not new to him. So that's helped, I think. But he's um, look, he's done very, very well, and he's earned a spot on the bench. And with regards to, to George North, do you see this maybe as the the beginning of, of a second half of his international career as, as a centre? Yeah, the, potentially. You know, those are some of the conversations we've we've had had with him, and you know, unfortunately, Jonathan's got the long term injury at the moment, so. Somebody or, or a number, a couple of players are going to get that opportunity to play there, and um, George gets the first crack at it. So, um, look, uh, from what I'm seeing so far, what Stephen's seeing and, and Byron is seeing, we're, we're all very happy. So, uh, let's hope that transfers into the uh, into the match on the weekend. Reese Webb on the bench. Um, how anxious do you feel he is to, to make up for lost time? How much has he missed international? Rugby? Yeah, for different reasons, very similar to Toby, really, and they're both they're both itching to get back into it, and uh, you know they're both quality players. So, look, he'll he'll want uh, to get as much time on the field as he can, no doubt, um, and and to show us what he has got after a time out in the game. But uh, certainly before he left, he was you know quality player for Wales and a quality player for the British Lions. Is it important for you to get a flying start, or would you just settle for a winning start of any sort? Yeah, obviously uh, winning is important to everyone in round one and uh, we're no different but uh, certainly we're concentrating on putting out a good performance. You know, we're conscious that it's you know, our first time uh, in, in charge, I guess, uh, in a home game which we're happy about and with the roof on I think that indicates that both teams uh, will certainly, uh, we were happy to have it on and uh, with Franco uh, also then um, I think that's an indicator that this game should be quite an open affair. What do you make of Franco Smith's Selection, I guess, uh, two fly halves, playing 10 and 12 might be a, a key to something. Yeah, we haven't had a chance to even talk about that as yet, but we've seen it. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Clearly, that and the roof on would indicate that they're going to move a lot of ball, um, uh, which I think, personally, is is a good thing to see. Um, so, yeah, we'll talk about that later today and, uh, and again tomorrow when we have a light run. So uh, it'll be interesting to see... What, what they do defensively uh, as opposed to attack really I think we know what's coming. And for yourself how do you think it might feel being in charge of Wales in a, in a test match at the stadium well, a, few, a few years since your last uh, full test in charge of a, an international side there? Yeah 2005 I think I was coaching Fiji against Wales and um, that, that was a great occasion on that day you know they marketed it really well and I think there were 70 odd thousand people so something similar for this game so 
look, I'm, I'm personally really, really looking forward to it. The sort of year has gone down to months, it's gone down to weeks, and now it's just a matter of days. So, no, I'm personally very excited and um, very excited to see the way the boys are working it, um, in and around the environment. It's a pretty good vibe around the place, and um, you know they're working very, very hard for each other, which is, is exactly what we want. Yeah, personally, um, uh, when we selected uh, Lewis, uh, we looked at the Italian game as being a possibility. Unfortunately, he came into camp with an injury, couldn't train much last week. I think he had the one run, and of course, being an exile, had to go home. So he hasn't had the opportunities that, that Johnny Mack has and, um, and Josh Adams has, so it's counted against him, um, really, the, the, the injury and the unavailability. So really too short a time for him. Um, but uh, certainly today when he trained, he looked good and um, yeah, he's definitely got a big, bright future in the game. Wayne, um, you've spent a bit more time with the players now. Are there any in particular that have taken you by surprise a little bit? Uh, not really by surprise. Um, you know, you do your homework and, and the players that you're inheriting, um, you know, you get a rundown on those guys. And to be honest, most of them, are, uh, if anything, um, it, it's been, any surprises have been pleasant surprises. So, no, I'm very happy with the, with the entire group at the moment. Um, you know, as I said earlier, off the field as well as on the field, there is a good vibe. Um, there's a lot of good conversations going on between the coaches and the players um, and a lot of good conversations going on with the medical team and a lot, of, a lot of discussion goes over the table and that sort of comes back and it's all pretty positive. So we're very, very happy at the moment. For people when you got used to 12 years of, of Warren Gap and Six Nations matches, um, is there anything different that they should expect, perhaps, from, from your first game? Is there a change they might be able to pick up? Well, I think the first thing is, Warren's, we're no different. Um, you know, we're passionate about the game and we, we want to win. Um, and uh, at the end of the day, I think most people will take an ugly win over a pretty loss. So, very conscious of the fact that for us, it's about um, focusing on what we how we want to play the game, making sure we prepare well and making sure that we put on a performance that we as a group are proud of and if we can do that then I'm sure the spectators and everyone else will enjoy themselves. Um, we are working hard on our attack uh, and uh, you know it's going to take a little bit of time. Uh, some of the skill sets need to improve but certainly where there's a will there's a way and uh, at the moment the boys are very willing so pretty good start in terms of training. When you said that you're not just here to Well, this coaching group want to win it um, because we haven't won it before because we haven't we haven't been involved. So, so for us, it's, uh, it's certainly not ours to defend, um, and I don't think that's the right mental approach to have. Anyway, it's uh, last year's last year. We've got to go out there, and everyone starts on zero, and uh, the Italians are in front of us, and we've got to knock them over, and then we've got to worry about the Irish, and then the French, the English, and the Scottish. So, that's the way we're approaching it. Um, and to repeat what they did last year, we have to win every game, which we know is going to be very, very difficult, but that's certainly going to be our aim, and um, we'll take each week as it comes and um, and work very, very hard to try and achieve it. Just on the Italians, they haven't won a Six Nations game for a long time, five years. Um, in a way, does that add a little bit of pressure by the fact that everyone's just expecting you to roll them over? And uh, well, not really, because uh, we've just been... As you could imagine, the first couple of weeks with new coaches, we've we've been really drilling down on how we want to play the game, and it, the whole focus has been on, you know, evolving the attack, making sure that we're strong defensively, that we have an attacking defence where we want to get the ball back. So an attacking mindset across the park, really, and just making sure that we're doing the work to be able to do that over 80 minutes. Um, so it hasn't really allowed us uh, too much time to think about what's happened in the past and, and certainly what the Italians um, will bring. We've spent probably today talking a bit about them, but the rest of the time has been about ourselves really and trying to get that performance that we're looking for first up. Sorry, say again? Yes, he's, he's um, had an injury to a hamstring um, Early on in a, in a training, I think it was on Monday, Monday or Tuesday, Monday, and um, we've had a scan, so there's some damage there, and uh, it'll be out for a few weeks. Uh, exactly how many weeks, I, I couldn't put a number on it, but certainly he'll be, uh, the medical team will be doing the best they can to get him back as quickly as possible. Wayne Warren used to talk a lot about the English best players and the fact they have to go back. You've already touched on it there. Does that emphasise the fact that you want to bring these players back, and is it a long term concern? Someone that you signed a long term contract? 
Yeah, well, yeah, Louis and I have had a chat about that, Lewis, I should say, and um, yeah, the more players we've got playing in Wales does benefit us when we're in camp. There's no doubt about it. We've had some good conversations actually, and that's that's why we pay Neil Jenkins. So he's going to have to come up with that that answer. But uh, look, I think um, we we pulled out some stats, and over the last so many years, they're, they're, they've been ranked number one and two in terms of their success at this level of the game. So whoever our goal kicks on the weekend, um, uh, we've got a pre pretty good options. Leon. Yeah, he's on the bench. Um, Leon's a, a young prop who is nowhere near um, the finished product. He's um, doing a lot of good work, as all the props are with John Humphreys, and he's learning a lot. Um, and he's get, getting better and better each training session, to be honest. Uh, he's come a long way in a very, very short space of time. So he's an exciting prospect because he's, he's got, he fits the profile we're looking for. He's a gen, generally a big man, which helps at the line out. Um, he's actually uh, very quick in training, too. He's got fast feet. Uh, so it's just getting into good habits and making sure that he can repeat uh, good performances week in and week out. And certainly, um, uh, I think he deserves an opportunity, and he's he's trained well. Well, you mentioned this debut, your test debut, it's been a long time coming. Do you allow know yourself a moment to let it all sink in before kick off, or is it straight business with Saturday morning? Oh, it, it is business as usual. Um, uh, but it will be a special moment, and uh, I'm sure internally I'll, I'll enjoy it, and I'll have a smile on my face. Uh, internally, that is. And uh, but no, it's it is a, it'll be a very proud moment. Have you got family coming to watch the game as well? Yeah, yeah, I've got um, my two sons are, are over from New Zealand, and uh, one of the uh, one of them bought their partner, so um, they're they're uh, pretty excited about being here. And obviously, uh, my wife and uh, stepdaughters will be there, so. That'll be a, be a great occasion. Yeah, he's he's. Look, if it was a World Cup final, he we, we would have considered him, um, but uh, it's not. Um, it, it is the opener of, of a competition, you know, which is covering eight weeks. So we've got to make sure when he does take the field, he's one hundred percent fit. So um, unfortunately, he wasn't quite a hundred percent, but he should be fine for next week. Same with Owen Watkin um, in a similar boat, uh, and Liam Williams is improving daily, uh, and the plan there is to hopefully have him right for next week. Wider afield, uh, Wayne, who are the unbeaten teams going to be at the end of round one? Oh, <laughs> who's, who's playing in the other games? No. Um, <laughs> you know, look, the, it's, it's going to be an interesting uh, couple of games, uh, well, all three of them for different reasons, but... Uh, I wouldn't really want to predict, but um, I, I can see it being a, a titanic uh, affair in, in Paris and um, you know, Ireland, Scotland again, you know, round one, everything to play for. Um, so, yeah, look, I just think they're all going to be pretty exciting matches. Are you surprised that you're behind Ireland as well as England in the uh, bookmakers' odds? No, not, with, not, when you look at, um, not when you look at history and, and, you know, who we've got at home, who we've got away. Uh, I think that's... Without a, a, a shopping fight, I think it's probably a fairly normal approach. Well, you've had the two hamstring injuries in the first two weeks. Is that just bad luck, or do you have to look at the way that you've been training the last few weeks? Well, we're, we're talking about the ground. It's uh, very, very soft, uh, very heavy underfoot. We've had a, a lot of rain. Um, so, yeah, the surface is something that's been discussed. Um, and uh, it's not a lot we can do about it at this stage. Uh, the weather is the weather. Yeah, well, uh, f from our point of view, it's just uh, getting a surface where you know we can do some scrummaging. Um, we haven't completed a scrum down there all week.